A lot of us, me included, started our companies while still having a day job. And I presume a lot of you watching are in that exact situation right now. So the question is, how do you know when it's time to leave the security of that paycheck you're getting every week and dive wholeheartedly into your startup? Well, our next guest says there are several signs to look for. Steve Strauss is the senior columnist for USA Today Small Business. He is also the founder and CEO of theselfemployed.com. Great to see you, Steve. Hey, great to be here, JJ. All right, it is a scary move to know next week I don't have a paycheck coming in, but I'm going to do it because I believe in this venture. There is some trick to the timing of it. You don't want to do it too soon. You don't want to do it too right. late. So, okay, you say you got to know you're headed in the right direction. How do you how do you know? Right. Well, you know, there really are two ways to start a business. One is uh, you jump into the deep end. You've you know saved some money or gotten a loan, and you you have the capital necessary to to do it full time or or you get fired, right? That's what happened to me when I started my first business. I was the world's most mediocre employee because I was meant to be an entrepreneur. The smarter way for a lot of people, as you just mentioned, is you keep your day job and you start your business part-time in the evenings and on weekends. And so there are some signs that will let you, you know, and this is a question I get maybe most often uh, over at my USA Today column, which is, how do I know it's time to let go of my day job and move on? And that first sign is you're heading in the right direction. That means you have some business. You know what you're doing. You're learning a little bit, and your business is moving so that it's heading in the right direction. It's kind of like a plane lumbering down uh, you know, to get ready to take off. That's what you want to know, that you're heading down the runway in the right way. You know, I like the second thing that you say, that it's time when you know what you're doing. And to me, that means... Someone can ask you anything about your business and you know the answer. You're not still kind of figuring out the research behind is this a good idea or not. Exactly, because if you're going to take the leap eventually and leave your day job with that paycheck every two weeks and those benefits, then you have to be sure that you're going to be able to make enough money to keep it going. And the way you do that is being able to know that you know how to run a business, that you know what the business is. Uh, and you know how it works, and you know what you could do if you have the extra time to take it to the next level. Um, and you talk also that you should have reliable customers. Some people might say, you know, it's hard for me to actually have and service customers if I'm doing my day job. It takes too much time and thought away from me, so how can I get the customer so that I can then leave my job? you you do, you got to do it. <laughs> That's really the only answer. I mean, if you're going to have a business, you have to have customers, and if you're going to be running a part-time business, then... Uh, that you want to turn into a full-time business, then the way to do it is to have customers who rely on you. And, and that means that you're, you're servicing those customers in whatever way you can, whatever needs they have, whether it's a product you're selling or a service that you're offering, but you're doing it and you're doing it consistently so that when you leave, you have customers. You have a way of bringing in some money when you don't have that paycheck any, anymore for those two weeks. Right, so and that's the purpose of having customers. You have money coming in. Well, and then, and you say it doesn't have to be enough money. It needs to be almost enough money. Right. I do say almost enough money because if it was enough, then you would never leave your day job. It's kind of like, uh, you know, good is the enemy of great. Uh, you want to be sure that you are lumbering down that, that runway and you're getting ready to take off and you're making some good money and you have some good customers and that if you gave it your full attention, lift off, right? That's the whole idea. So that if you're making close to enough money and the difference is you could, if you gave it more time, you're going to lift off, then you know you're ready for liftoff. All right, Steve. Yeah, I get this question a lot, too, so I'm happy that you've uh, pointed out some of the things that people should look out for. Thanks so much. It's so great to see you. Oh, great to be back. Thanks so much for having me, JJ.